The prodigy. Apparently, we owe you for the shards of this sigil stone. I didn't think I would ever say this, but thank you. Greetings. Greetings. Well met. The fabled prodigy. I hope you can live up to what they say about you. I really do. Ah, yes. Here. There they are. I've marked the most relevant parts so you don't have to read the entire book. Just see if they tell you anything that could give you a clue as to where you should start searching. I will be waiting at the beacon. Yeah. 
you found any of the stones yet? Him of the Desert King. What are you doing in this part of the city? Shouldn't you be? Uh, I don't know. Uh, somewhere else. Oh, <laughs> what do you know? Well, at the risk of blowing your mind, my job is to keep folk like you out. Now, what makes you think that you're any different? <laughs> Well, well, aren't you a cheeky one? You must really think I'm stupid if... Oh, now that sounds promising. Exactly how much do you reckon my while? Hmm. All right, then. Deal. I think I'm in the mood for a stroll. And hey, don't get any stupid ideas about swiping anything. All right? Walk blessed. Is my master expecting you? Just go upstairs. He is in his scribbery.
Huh? Oh, grand. Yet another proof of the notorious reliability of cell swords. So, what is it that you want? To mug me? I would seriously think that over, considering my esteemed bodyguard over there. He belongs to the petrified, and I'm sure he would love to demonstrate just what that means. <laughs> oh, do you now? <laughs> you really are a bold one, aren't you? Oh, but good, go ahead. Tell me what you consider to be so important that you just had to sneak into my house without my invitation. What? No, you're mistaken. I have no idea what you're talking about. Now get out of here. I don't give a shit about your sources. Now get lost, preferably to the brothel you escaped from, wench. Kashan, show my guest the way out. Him of the Desert King. Dark as the sun, light as the night. Thousand raindrops, red and small. Oh, oh well.
What the hell? I have no idea how you got in here, but I swear that you're about to see me get real angry. What? All right, then. Here's what's going to happen next. You either give me that piece of paper right now, or I will order Kashan to do it for you. And I promise you, that will be a painful process. Your employer? Pa, you're bluffing. I could kill you right here, and no one would ever notice that you've gone missing. You. <sighs> All right, then. If your life depends on it. So, what do you want? So here's the deal. I'll tell you what you want to know, and you'll give me back the paper, and keep this matter about... about the child to yourself. And one thing in advance... Try to double-cross me, and you will regret it. I promise. As I expected. All right, then. So, yes, it is true that I once owned the stone, but it is also true that I no longer do. That thing whose birth that piece of paper in your hand proves owns it now, if it is still alive, that is. Don't call it that. That creature doesn't deserve to bear the family name. I fear I have to go back in time a little. Seven years ago, with my old wench, I... She got pregnant. It was an atrocity, a joke of nature. Everything but a worthy successor for our house. <laughs> Malformed? Oh, that would be the understatement of the century. It had these tumors all over its face, and its left leg was a clump. The apothecarius said it was a wonder that it even survived the birth. I gave him away. And please, save yourself the indignation. You wouldn't understand my decision if I tried to explain it to you. Well, what do you think? She sure wasn't happy about it. She's gone, anyway. Syphilis took her to a small village where no one from Ark would ever see him, or at least where no one could trace him back to me. My wench. She stole it from the treasury and put it into one of his pockets. But truth be told, I didn't mind too much when I found out. I don't put much stock in superstition and folk tales, but everyone knows something is wrong with those things. Anyway, since you will probably ask, as far as I know, the village where they took it is called Silver Grove. Now, give me the parchment and get lost. I kept my end of the bargain. Thanks. Now get out. <laughs> <laughs>